That's right. All right, uh, it's the after show with Katie Maloney and Woo! Danny Pellegrino. Um, behind the bar, you can see him on WrestleMania Goes Hollywood at SoFi Stadium in LA, April 1st and 2nd. It is streaming live exclusively on Peacock. Who are you fighting, Omas? I'm fighting Brock Lesnar. Oh my God. You gonna win? Of course I'm gonna win. Yeah, you yeah. It's a no brainer. <laughs> do you, uh, do you, I'm looking for a ring. Do you have a lady in your life? Yes, I do. You do? I, yes, yes, okay, yes. Are you wearing a wedding ring? No, I should get married later this year. So. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Is she a wrestler also? Not at all. She's no. a medical doctor. Very good. I like Thank it. You. That comes in handy. Get let's go back to our... It does. Yes, married to medicine. Uh, let's go back to the fans. Elise and Tom from Philly have a question for Katie. <laughs> hey, hey, Katie. What do you... What do you think about Sheena recently saying on her podcast that she's expecting an apology from you at the reunion? An apology for what? <laughs> she wants me to apologize for saying that, like, she's a karma's troll. gonna come for her uh -huh. and <laughs> I'll watch her world burn and I'll smile. Listen, I think... She calls it as she sees it. I, uh, I'm not gonna apologize for, like, that. I don't know. I Like, listen, I was upset. That was a response to her, like, crazy actions that she was doing. I, I will was say... By it. It seems like in the wake of this whole affair, it has put other things in perspective. Like, I'm happy to see, like, it's clear that Sheena has been ride or die for Ariana. They're great friends. So I'm glad to see that you two were able to put whatever aside to support Ariana. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Is Some things are more important. Is there any physical fear out of, Sh like, when you are with <laughs> Sheena, do you worry for your safety? No, have you seen those turkey talents? She cannot make a fist. Like, um, period. She's from Azusa. By the way, what did you think about when, I, I, I mentioned it on the show last week, but what did you think about when Schwartz and Sandoval were here on premiere night? And it seemed like Schwartz was kind of checking with Sandoval it every was, time I asked him a question. Pitiful. What was that? It was pitiful. I, t I text him as well. It's like, you were embarrassing. <laughs> like, like, you couldn't keep your fingers out of your mouth. I mean, you were like, I feel like you were babysitting. Like, he's a, he's 40. He's he's 40 years old, everybody. He, now there's, <laughs> that ain't cute. There's Anyone been some thinks confusion he's cute, with these men's ages, <laughs> too, that I just would like us to all clear up. So how old is Sandoval? 40. Right. Okay. Okay, so he'll be 41 this year. Yes. And Schwartz is 40. For, the, both are 41. <coughs> the, this okay. Year. Publicly, they lie about their age a year, no, right? No, no, no. No, Schwartz, we celebrated his 40th oh, birthday okay. at the Tom Sandoval concert that I mentioned at BravoCon. That was his 40th okay. birthday. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> is he at okay. Winter House right now? Is that a shady question? He, yeah. Um, sure. No comment. <laughs> so I think there's pictures of him in... in uh, Katie and Macy from <laughs> Austin, what's your question for Danny? Hey, Danny. I'm a mess. Hi. Um, Danny, <laughs> who from the Bravo universe would you pick to be on the ultimate guys trip? Oh, God. <coughs> Do we want to see an I ultimate guys no. trip? <laughs> I'm tired of these men. I don't think I so. Would love I, men are boring. Women yeah. are exciting. And also, <laughs> yes, I totally agree. But also, I think I would love to see a girls' trip, though, without just housewives. Like, I'd like to bring in maybe some of the yeah, Shaz yeah, cast yeah. or some of yeah. the the women from Vanderpump Rules. I saw somebody say, like, an Ariana's girls' trip would be so fun uh -huh. to bring a bunch of, like, the other women together. <laughs> I, I feel like that'll happen. That'd be fun. I right? feel like that should happen. Yeah, I do, too. <laughs> I think that'll happen. Um, okay, Katie, at Brock Patty wants to know, what do you think of Sandoval's actions affecting his business with Schwartz? Should people be taking out all this on Schwartz and Sandys? I think when you put your name on a on your business and it's your brand, like he said, he talking about, like, it's our brand. We're the TomTom Tom brand. Your reputation is going to affect that. You have to move in the world in a way that is not going to tarnish as such. So, like, if this is the fallout, then it is fallout. It sucks, but like, it is what it is. Yeah, Danny. And is... also, it's probably helping the business in a lot of kind of sick ways because people want to go see the spectacle. They, they want to come see who's going to show up. But um, you know, I think I, I told Tom you should probably. You need to handle yourself. Yeah. We need to handle Isabel G, Danny, what was your reaction when you heard the news that John Jansen broke up with Shannon Bedore? Um, uh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love Shan. I mean, I, she's great TV. I love watching her on TV. But yes, God bless. I'm super excited. Orange County said it's amazing. I'm so um, excited. It's a return Tamara's to form. Back. Yes, yeah. I'm very excited. About I can't it. wait.
Yes. What do we know when we're getting it? Um. Uh. Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> at Girls Love Bravo wants to know, Katie, would you consider getting back with Schwartz if he was remorseful and promised to fully prioritize your relationship? Uh, words, words, words. Like no, no. Wait, I have a question. I, yes. He would need to like. He would need to be. He be need to be lobotomized and then completely <laughs> act different. Okay. Act uh, different. In my rewatch, I'm it, after you both had gotten married. He had been so drunk that he made out with someone at a club, right? Correct. This was post marriage, and yeah. he had also cheated before that. Mm -hmm. But I got the impression rewatching it that you were almost like covering for him, and, and I could be totally off base, but I felt like you let go of that situation so quickly when he, you just kept saying he was just drunk. He does that. It's whatever. And then I, I just felt like underneath you were covering for him, and I didn't know if it was because you're on this TV show and you've already dealt with infidelity with this man, and then you've been married. But like, what, what am I reading into it? Does that make sense? No, it's embarrassing. Is what it is. It's like it's it is it's called being a broken woman, and 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 being like having your your self conscious be so beaten down and being like feeling like, God. <sighs> Everyone, oh. uh, it's like it's it's like when you feel like you you your your worth is so low, it's it, like the writing is all all on the walls. You just can't see it, and you want to just justify it all away, you know. Um, so for anyone that feels that way, you deserve better. Just know it. All right, let's leave it there. I want to thank Danny and Katie and all of us for more on BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.